Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so if you were watching me before, we just finished The Grinch at 36 inches and he's looking flawless. He's gonna look so good um, once we cut it and piece it together. So what's left is Cindy Lou Who. Now, Cindy Lou Who, if you watched my last video, I'm sorry to repeat, but this is one of the best images that I've seen of her because normally she her pajamas is one whole dress and so it's a lot of pink and it's light so we can't really cover the seams so we could only make her so big this one if you really wanted to make her big you could because um the red ornament i mean you can decorate the ornament and change it so that can be cut up into pieces your longest piece is going to be this dress you can make that 11 inches which means this is 11 inches so this would be another, I don't know, eight inches, and then this would be another 10 inches. So she can be really, really big. She, she'll be like 30 inches almost, um, seamless, right? Um, I guess actually what I would do is, let me show you how big she could be, okay? So let's look at this, um, and let's make her 30 inches, because 30 inches is most of the, the size that I usually do. Let's see how big her face will be. So let's click on this whole thing. We're gonna ungroup it. So at 30 inches, which is pretty big, let's see. Um, uh, let's. So this is her face. Her face includes her, I mean her face includes the fingers. So just, and it's 14.6 by 14.7. So we could definitely make this bigger. Um, just want to double check okay i did make it 30 inches <laughs> all right let's look at the pajamas and look at the pajamas the whole thing from here to here is 15 inches so you know we got rid of this this is fine so at 30 inches she's going to be seamless it's going to look so good um all right so let's change her back though because i did make the grinch at 36 inches which he is 36 inches here yes so i thought she would look good at 22 inches so let's change that to 22 i'm gonna have them next to my christmas tree so i do need to make her proportionate to him so this is so she's gonna be like that looks about right to me um i'm wondering yeah i feel like that looks right to me so at 22 inches oh you know what though i i'm not gonna do this the little pieces because i feel well should we make her a little bit bigger no i think that that's gonna look good all right so 22 inches sorry i'm thinking about it um all right so let's delete the grinch if you want to know how to do the grinch he's like i said he's gonna look seamless he is in the previous video all right, so here we go. We're deleting him. We have her at 22 inches. So let me save this. And I always do it because I won't remember once we cut up everything. Um, I don't remember how big I've made it. So 22 inches. And you want to do this because sometimes um, if you keep a project for a really long time and maybe a piece fell off or got ripped and you want to just redo that one, you might, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I always just do it this way. All right, so here's 22 inches. We can actually zoom in a little bit and you can still see her really well. So here she is. All right, let's take let's um, take apart this piece. Okay, if you look in your panel, what I see is the black background. It's not a solid, it's not filled in. So it's just an outline. So let's click on that and go to contour because I do want it to be solid. I want it to be solid because I want all the other pieces to sit on top. So it just makes it more secure. All you need to do is click hide all. And now I'm going to have my solid background. And I'm just going to move this out here. So we're going to need to slice this up, right? So here are all our other pieces. So this is our face. We're going to want to separate these out, right? The other thing that we might want to consider doing is welding the fingers together. So instead of it being three pieces here 
and four pieces here, we can make it one piece. And I'm gonna show you how to do that because I, I think I wanna do that. So right now let's slice apart her face and her fingers. So this is what we're gonna do. So here's the fingers, right? We're gonna grab the fingers and the square and slice. And then your slice results, I'm gonna use the same square to do this hand over here, but your slice results here, you can delete that. So now these three pieces, I can move apart, okay? So now this isn't a lot of traffic, right? My square is touching the red, it's okay. I'm going to just, my cursor is just gonna grab enough to just grab the two pieces, the skin color and the square, and I'm gonna slice. And so now I can get rid of my square, I can get rid of my slice results. Here's my other finger or my other hand, which we're gonna work on in a second. I wanna look at this. So you know we're gonna be slicing up this image. So I want to actually, in case there are any lines running through her eyes or this piece right here, I'm gonna duplicate this. And let's go to contour and I don't need, I'm gonna hide all, perfect. And I'm gonna change this to black, okay? So what's gonna happen is, let's say there is a seam going through her eyes. I'm gonna bring this forward, arrange them to the front. Now I'm gonna put this on top of my black piece right here, so that if there were seams, there will no longer be seams. And then that, both these pieces are gonna sit on top of the black. So that's gonna help us make it seamless. So this is all good here. Let's look at this. I'm gonna zoom in <clears throat> so that we can make this look really good. And let's go look at her fingers. So here are her fingers. Let's bring in, I'm gonna leave these three as three separate, separate pieces, okay? But I'm going to make this hand one piece. So let's unlock this shape and let's make it small this and I'm gonna put I'm gonna change this over like this I'm gonna duplicate it and I put this one right here I'm trying to move it but my mouse is not working right now <laughs> let's duplicate that one and I'm gonna put this one right here. And this one, I feel like I just wanna make this one a little bit bigger. I don't know if it's gonna let me do it that well. All right, I'm just gonna leave it like that. All right, so here I'm gonna grab these pieces and I'm gonna weld it. So here's my hand. I mean, personally to me, the hand didn't really look I mean, it's a cartoon. It's They're not gonna know that this is not what the hand should look like. But what's nice is instead of having four pieces to look after, this is now one piece and I'm just gonna lay it down, okay? So I'm gonna zoom out. I'm happy with that, but you'll see when I piece this together, let me know in the comments if you don't like the way it looks. <laughs> All right, let's look at everything else. Here is her hair. Her hair, I'm gonna separate out these two pieces because I'm gonna move them closer to here when we go to cut it, so it's just gonna be a little bit more efficient. So let's bring in a square and let's slice these two pieces out so it's not all connected. Because right now it's showing as if it's gonna cut on a, like it's seven and a half inches across by seven inches and it's really not that big of a piece. So I'm gonna grab these two items. I'm gonna do this and slice. So later on my yellow cutting mat, I'm gonna have my hair and then I, I'm gonna be able to save my, my yellow cardstock for another project and I'm gonna move this here. So, that, so then I'm gonna have this big space here of paper that I can reuse again, okay? All right, so I'm gonna delete my excess. So here's my red, oh no, my pink first. And see how it's in two pieces. First of all, this little piece, I'm gonna get rid of it. It's too small, so I'm gonna hit contour and I don't even want this piece. 
No one's gonna notice that. I'm not dealing with a tiny little piece like that. Um, I'm tempted to, I'm gonna keep it separated, sorry. I was gonna weld it, but then I feel like everyone knows that her collar is a separated piece. Um, so this is in three pieces. I'm gonna separate it by using contour because these two pieces are so close to each other. So when I'm using contour, I'm gonna move this over for a second. Um, I'm gonna need three total, oops, not this one, the pink. I wanna break this up into three pieces, so I'm gonna need three copies of it. So my first copy, I'm gonna hit contour and hide all. It's gonna leave me this bottom piece right here. And see this bottom piece is four by seven. Here's my second piece, I'm gonna go to contour and then we click hide all, and it's gonna leave me the bottom, but I want the next piece. I don't want the bottom, so I'm gonna click on that. So now this piece right here is by itself, right? Now I just need the collar. So I'm gonna click here, contour. You can also click on the picture, so I don't want this one, and I don't want this one. So now I'm gonna have just the collar. It's a really, really useful tool. All right, let's see what, this, what these little things are. I'm gonna zoom in for a second. What are these white pieces? I'm gonna get rid of that. <clears throat> that is not worth our time, nor that little piece. Now we have the eyes. So I would just duplicate. I would normally um, slice it out, but I'm just going to separate it really quickly using contour. So here's my moon shaped eye one and then this piece i'm gonna click contour and i don't want this one i want this one right so my white separated what is this little piece right here i'm gonna get rid of that here's my blue i'm gonna slice it on this one just so that you can see the different ways of separating out my pieces now normally you maybe you don't think it's important to um separate these two pieces but I, like for the blue, I'm definitely going to be using my scrap paper. So I'm going to want them to be separated so that maybe I need to use two small pieces of scrap paper. And so this way, when they're apart, it's easier for me to find paper to go with it. All right, let's look at this one. This one, I'm definitely going to want to slice out the two pieces into two. So I'm going to do this. Um, let's see, here we go, and I'm gonna slice. Yep, so let's get rid of this. Now you can even separate it further, but I'm okay with keeping you know this pair together and this pair together. All right, so now I think the only thing we have left is the red, and the red is pretty close. I would just cut this on one sheet. Um, or, Again, you could slice it out, and I'll slice it out just, just in case you wanna see that. So this one, you wanna make sure that when you're separating the two, that the one piece is completely covered by whatever shape you bring in, and then the other piece is completely not in that shape. So in this case, this top part of the bulb is completely covered by my, um, by my circle, <laughs> and then I'm going to grab, use my cursor and do a really thin line because I'm in so much um, traffic with like the eyes on the left, the black image, but this I'm only grabbing two things. So as long as your cursor is grabbing two things, you can slice, okay? So I'm gonna move this, delete that, move this out of the way. So here's my red. I'm all good there. So the only thing left, I'm gonna zoom out, is we need to slice up this piece because this piece is 15 inches by 22, so obviously we can't send it to the Cricut. Um, so we're gonna need to break this up into four squares, right? Because 15 inches is too wide and 22 inches is too long. So we're gonna do four squares completely flushed with each other. So let's bring in our first square and let's move it over here. We'll just build our squares over here. We wanna make this 11 by 11. 
because I'm using 12 by 12 cardstock. Technically, you could even do, or you could do this um, doing 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I don't like dealing with half inches, and in this case, it doesn't even matter. So I like to use 11 by 11. All right, so let's, um, this one, we're going to, by to make them flushed, it's easiest to do it by positioning it onto whole numbers. So 76.6, I'm gonna round up to 77. 8.5, I'm gonna round up to nine. So basically all we're saying is um, our X coordinate go over to 77, so go over 77 units, go down nine units, and here's the beginning of our square. So now I'm gonna duplicate my square. I'm gonna put it really close to this one. And then I'm just gonna round to the nearest whole number. So 88.1 becomes 88, 9.0 becomes nine. So now I have a pair, right? So I'm gonna grab both of these and I'm gonna duplicate it. And then I'm just gonna make this set flushed with this set. So I'm gonna put it really close. And then again, 77 point something becomes 77. This becomes 20. I have four flush squares. It's good because when we cut her up into four pieces, when you put her together, it's easiest to just push them up and all the pieces are flushed it makes it um, easier to put together and then also it makes for a more seamless project, okay? So now here she is. Let's arrange and send to the front. And we're gonna put her on top of the four squares. Now, what we're doing right here is we're just trying to make sure that she is not cut into more pieces than we need to. Like here, her hair. I don't really wanna deal with an extra piece. Sometimes you're gonna need to, but I don't wanna have to keep track of two small little pieces to tape together, okay? So what we wanna do is, let's see if we can move. So yeah, so she's gonna need to be cut, but maybe we can do something like, oh, she's annoying <laughs> because this piece right, uh, I mean, I guess this is okay. This is looking pretty good right here. Maybe something like, I'm really not feeling this piece. Um, shoot. Oh, maybe this will be good. Maybe something like this. So, the seam is gonna come down. Let's move it over a little bit. Okay, that way this seam is coming down right here. So this is one big piece. This is not that quite of a big piece, but that's okay. This one right here, this one's separated, but I'm okay with that being separated. And let's see, um, we're gonna need another set because I don't think I can get this any better. See, these tips are so small. I'm almost tempted. I'm trying to see if there's a better way to do her, but I don't think that there is. Um, so let's move her back to what we had. So this, this gave her a piece right here. This, this, all right. That's a bigger piece. So we need one more set right here. So let's just grab this square, duplicate it. And what's nice about, see we can easily add this on because we're on whole numbers and it's just easy to, we're already at 77, this one's gonna be 31 and we're gonna have a flush square right here with this one above. Um, does that need to be? It doesn't look like it's flushed, but I know that it is because this one is at 20. 20 plus 11 is 31. Oh, I didn't, I didn't hit tab. See, no wonder I was like, wait a minute. Why does it not look flush? Because it wasn't. All right, so now we have it all good. Let's start slicing, okay? So we're gonna slice one square at a time with the image slice 
slice. And then one more up here. And then I'll zoom out and we'll move the pieces over so you can see what it looks like, okay? Um, all right, so where is she? There she is. So we have one piece here. And I like to keep them in order because then you know where everything goes. There's that one. This one's a big piece, I like this piece. And then this little piece here. Oops. And then we have a small little piece here. All right, we're gonna grab all of this and delete it, we don't need it. Let me save really quickly and then we'll go to the cut mat just so you can see what that looks like. We're gonna be moving pieces so it's gonna be super efficient. Let's go to make it and see what we have. Okay, so here are her eyes and you can see because we separated the piece, instead of it being like a four by whatever, we can now do a one and a half piece by one and a half inch by one and a half inch. So that's scrap paper that you probably have laying around. Um, I'm gonna use white glitter cardstock for that. Okay, so here's this piece. Here's this piece, but see, we can start moving some of this stuff around. Let's see if we can add more. So there's here, we can click on this, move objects. So if you click on the three dots, you can move it to another piece. Let's move that over here. I think that will fit. Okay, so there, that all fits right now. And then we have we have one more piece left to move. Let's move this one as well. So all your black pieces fit on two sheets of cardstock. Let's see if we can get that to work. So it's really close there. All right, so this all fits on one. Here's so two sheets of black. And then you have her face, here's her hand. You can even move it in closer like this. And maybe this can be over here. Here's her yellow hair, what I was talking about earlier. By us separating this, we could stick it in here so that next time you have all of this other space to save um, and use on something else. Here are her blue eyes. All right, the pink. I don't know why this is separated out. Um, let's see, we can just, all right, let's move. You could do this. You can change this to a 12 by 24 mat, even though you're not gonna use a 12 by 24 mat, then it's all on, oh, what happened? Why didn't it move my piece over? That's so weird. Normally it would combine the pieces, but it's not working right now. <laughs> so let's just move the object. You want to move it over here. All your pink should be on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Let's go grab the bottom part. This is a super, super cute project. She's going to look amazing and seamless and flawless and super cute next to the Grinch. And you can move, you could do something like this you can make it super efficient. Let's move the collar over. Um, these things can be moved down here. This could be moved over. So then, um, you know, you have a lot of pink for another project. And then let's look at the red. Here's the little ornament. You can probably move it over like if you had, if I had separated these two pieces as well, then this would have fit in here and then this piece could have fit here. So we could definitely consolidate some more. And that's it. Oh my gosh, this was a super, super easy, fast project. Um, let me know if you wanna see other characters for Christmas or any other special thing that you wanna see, all right? Thank you so much. Give me your feedback and then I will talk to you next time. Bye.